efforts to restrict the activities of protesters at Columbia University extend beyond matters of free speech and narrative control. Hi. Hi. Have you spoken to the media folks? I would love to speak to some media folks once my live shot's done in about 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, but you're not supposed to have explicit permission from the students that doesn't appear in your live shot. So, no, this is not important. Uh, no, but we have people who are willing to speak to us. But... Yeah, if a media representative wants to come out and speak to me, I would love to speak. No, that's not how it works. Like, they're already up there, so let's go. Okay, so where would I be going? Now? So they would run in front of Butler on the left side. There's a bunch of people in yellow vests, and they'll tell you exactly where to go. So they'll tell me what to shoot? Yes, absolutely. or they'll just tell you who's going to shoot. Right. Okay. You can shooting shoot. on the outside of main campus is, is not, it sounds like it's prohibited for no, me to just, shoot on the outside of the campus. No, you the people that you're shooting. If it's okay with individuals, then you can it's fine. But if there's some, uh, some students that don't want to be able to shoot, so I'm just giving them guidelines. Look, the students who are there are to not go out people that ask them. Okay. All right. <laughs> Such limitations can be viewed as encroachments upon the fundamental tenets of free expression and journalistic integrity. There are valid concerns regarding the authoritarian inclinations of protesters who seek to dictate what journalists can capture and convey. This behavior is often seen as a reflection of left-wing authoritarianism enforcing ideological conformity. Through censorship and oversight, Questions naturally arise about the ethical considerations faced by journalists who acquiesce to these constraints. Despite any pressures or attempts at censorship, upholding journalistic standards of impartiality and autonomy remains paramount. <laughs>